Let's get back to the debt ceiling negotiations, exasperating as they are. Larry Kamer, uh, Larry Cunwell is with me. Is there any way you can make this thing interesting and exciting? Larry, you've been in the middle of this. Make it, give me some fire about the debt deal and the discussions. It's impossible. <laughs> it's just absolutely impossible. <laughs> I knew this it. Has to be one of the. This, this is one of the five most boring things you'll yes. ever, will, you and I will ever talk about. Yes, that's <laughs> true. That's true. Well, let loose at somebody. Look, who's I, who's I in will, the wrong I, here? Yeah, no, no. I will say uh, politically, you're watching uh, Kevin McCarthy take Joe Biden to the cleaners. I mean, basically, it's McCarthy 10, Biden 0, because everything Biden said he wouldn't do, he's now doing, uh, which is to say they are going to work towards raising the debt ceiling and they are going to have budget reforms and budget cu uh, cuts accompanying it. That was Biden's, uh, uh, you know, that was his fight originally. McCarthy's won that. And I think, you know, before this thing is said and done, uh, and I think they're probably coming down the home stretch now. I think basically um, McCarthy's going to get 80 percent of what he wants. I mean, I think the Republicans are going to win. And really, the political story here is nobody thought Kevin McCarthy could get the Republican House to put up a uh, budget deal, a debt ceiling deal. They did. They've underestimated McCarthy and the House Republicans from day one. And um, Right now, McCarthy's running away with it. It's going to get 80 percent of what he wants. There won't be any tax hikes, and it's going to be spending cuts. Well, would you, would you please repeat that? There won't be any tax hikes? McCarthy has the power right. in the House to stop these tax hikes that Biden plans? Really? Yes, absolutely. All tax bills originate in the House. All money bills uh, originate in the House. So it doesn't matter what Mr. Biden wants. If the House doesn't want it, it's not going to happen. Ooh. So there aren't going to be any tax hikes. Okay. Not this, not this go around anyway. I, it seems to me that. I mean, the other thing. No, go ahead. I was just going to add. I was just going to add one more thing politically. Um, what will I? I mean, I think I don't know how long this is going to take, but I think they're going to get something done by the end of this week or the weekend or something like that. Um, the ball's going to go to the Senate. You haven't heard a peep out of Chuck Schumer, right? Remember Chuck Schumer? He's the head of the, he's the majority leader in the Senate. He's been quiet as a mouse because all his positions have been defeated also. But I do think the Senate needs some work requirements. They're going to have to come back and do some legislation and vote. So Senate needs work requirements. And by the way, uh, McCarthy will probably win that one, too. He'll get work requirements Whoa. for welfare. He'll get work requirements for food stamps. He may not get it for Medicaid, but he will eventually get work requirements for the senators. Well, Larry, you've, I don't care what they say. you've woken us all up on the political side of things. Now answer this question. If we get a deal, we're going to get a deal. But it will leave us with a great deal more debt, won't it? And we'll be at the point fairly soon where we're spending a trillion dollars a year servicing that debt, paying out interest. That's not sustainable, is it? Uh, well, depends how much the economy grows and depends on, listen, depends on deals like this. I mean, this deal is not going to solve the problem you're talking about, <laughs> but it will ameliorate the problem. I mean, I don't know where this is going to wind up. There's all kinds of, you know, discussions. They're arguing over baselines and 130 billion and whether it's a 1% cap or a 2% cap and whether it's one year, or two years or 10 years. So I don't know that. But let's say McCarthy gets 80% of what he wants. So instead of $5 trillion in lower spending in the next decade, suppose they cut it, uh, I don't know, three, suppose he, $3 trillion. Three trillion, not nothing, the way Biden's been spending like a, you know, a drunken sailor. So at the margin, it's um, a positive development. Okay. You're going to have to win the White House. You're going to have to get the Senate back. If you're going to restore free market capitalism in this country, you're going to have to have three yeah. house sweep. Yeah. And well, we're going to get we're yeah. going to get there, Stu. You're we'll get there you, with but, just another but, 18 months. But we've got a long way to go. Larry Kudlow, great stuff. You put some fire into it. You, get, you made me laugh. That's pretty good.